Go ask Alice uh, where I respond to your emails appropriately or inappropriately. Uh, this is from Emily A. Carth Carthbone? Carbone? Carbonet? This is Go Ask Alice, where I respond to your emails, appropriately or non-appropriately, uh, from Emily A. Carbone. And she sends a, sends a picture of some tattoos that she's done of me on her body in inappropriate places that I can't show you. How do you feel about Alice tribute bands? And what's the craziest gift a fan ever gave you? Check out my tattoo. It's a work in progress. So is my brain. Uh, Emily, I love the tattoo by the way. I just don't know what part of your body that actually is. Anyway, uh, tribute bands. It's interesting when I go to see a tribute band and they do the song exactly like the record because we do the song very close to the record. I give the band an opportunity to go left and right a little bit on the lead guitars and not to, you know, sometimes we'll, we'll add an extra guitar part or this and that and we play around with the song but it's fairly close to the record I mean I'm not gonna do a reggae version of 18 you know um, but it's you go to see tribute bands and they do and there's one tribute band called Halo of Flies in Phoenix and they're all the guys that are the the guys that run Fender guitars you guys are all 50 and over and they play the songs exactly like the record. And I sang with them one time and I had to relearn the songs because I'd get done doing them and they'd go, well, you know, that second verse you did wrong. And they were right. I mean, they, they do them exactly. But I've heard other bands do versions of it where I've actually gone up to them and I said, boy, that was really good, but you know, you're missing the point on this. And I would tell them, I said, on this song, here's the attitude. Oh, I was, I was thinking something else. I think it's a total compliment that that people do imitations of you. You know, to me, that's that's great. And when somebody, a known artist, covers one of your songs, I think that's a real great compliment. Also, you know, I mean, it, it, with all the songs, there's a million songs in the world to cover, and they decide that that song, particularly that song, is something they want to cover. I think that's a great compliment. And when I cover people's songs, it's because that song is special. What's the craziest gift a fan ever gave me? Wow. I, at the end of the tour, I have a truckload of things that people give me that are so bizarre. Some of them are totally unexplainable. I think the ones that, that we look at and go, what is that? Those are the ones I like the most because, uh, 
you know, they're the most creative. The little, sometimes they get presents from little five-year-old girls, you know, and eight-year-old boys that are just really worked hard on this drawing, you know, of me. And, and I appreciate those a whole bunch. So I, I appreciate the, the drawings that I put on the refrigerator with a magnet. Those are the ones, those are the ones I like the best. This one's Kathy Oates in Australia. Alice, why don't you address the crowd in between songs while performing? Eh? Eh? Well, Kitty, uh, Kitty Oates, great name by the way. Kitty Oates, detective. If Alice talks to you on stage, he's suddenly human. He's suddenly one of you. I never would let Alice ever break his inhumanness. I want Alice to not be part of the crowd. I don't want Alice to say, hey, here's a song we wrote in 1974. It's a little song we like to call, you know, Teenage Lament. Uh, I think that totally vanillaizes Alice. It makes